<laughs> Yo, so today I'm gonna be teaching you how to get the most out of your USB microphone in OBS for Mac. Let's get ba 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 rudal. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's your boy, the Fortitron. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get the most quality out of your USB microphone when you're live streaming in OBS on Twitch or YouTube or wherever. And it's actually really easy and simple to do. Let's get into this. All right, here we are. So we're at the main screen here. This is my main OBS screen here. This is just a bare bones one. All I have here is I have my capture card and the capture card audio. And you're gonna see in the main audio mixer here, I've got my main USB microphone here. So this could be like your blue Snowball or your blue Yeti or like any USB microphone. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click on the little cog to the right of the microphone and you're gonna choose filters. So we're gonna go to filters right here. And I have these three filters added. So I've got noise suppression, noise gate, and compressor. And you just add them by clicking the little plus at the bottom left. And you can add or subtract them from here. So real quick, I'm gonna explain what a noise gate and compressor does. So a noise gate is kind of like having an assistant who turns on the microphone whenever you're ready to speak. And then when you're done speaking, they turn the microphone off. Why this is super helpful is, especially if you're doing a stream or you're recording in a noisy area where there's like background hum or there's just something that you can hear in the background. And if there's moments while you're streaming a game and you're just playing, you're just gonna hear that background noise. It's gonna get irritating. So having a noise gate turned on is really helpful because it just turns the microphone off when the noise level gets to a certain range. A compressor on the other hand, kind of like myself, I can be a loud talker at times and then also I can dip down in volume and I'm kind of all over the place, kind of like right now. So what a compressor does is it makes the volume of your voice a steady, consistent level. That way it doesn't have big peaks and then big dips. And that can get a little bit fatiguing for anybody, especially if they're listening with headphones, if the volume of your voice keeps going up and down, up and down, up and down. Especially when you're trying to concentrate when you're speaking kind of low, and then all of a sudden you like you get really loud, and then it's like, whoa! So it's really good to have that set up. It just makes your audio just sound that much more professional, and you don't even need a professional microphone to do it. All right, those explanations out of the way. These are the settings that I have for each of these filters. So for noise suppression, is just your basic background noise suppression. I have that at negative 45 decibels. Play around with it. It's gonna be different for each of your environments depending on how noisy it is. I would just play around with this until like you kind of gotten out all of the background noise as best as you possibly can without cutting too much into your voice. This is a big one, the noise gate. So you want the close threshold to be at negative 32 dB and the open threshold to be at negative 26 is what I have it at. Again, it depends on the volume of your voice. Uh, so again, the noise gate is like pretty much turning off the microphone when you stop talking. And that's good to get rid of that background noise when you just have those moments of silence where you're just <laughs> like intense mode playing the video game. And then open threshold is when the volume gets to a certain level. So at this point at negative 26 dB, it'll start opening the microphone back up. And then we've got a 25 millisecond attack time, a 200 millisecond hold time, and 150 millisecond release time. So take a screenshot of this picture right here for your use later. I'll hold it up in a second here. But these are my noise gate settings. And then compressor, again, it depends on the volume of your voice, but this is what I have it at for me. So the ratio, I have it at three, uh, three to one. Threshold, I have at negative 24 dB. And then the tack is at three milliseconds. The release is at 15 milliseconds. Output gain is four decibels. So play around with this and then find a level where your volume is pretty constant depending how far away you are from the microphone. And again, whenever you are streaming, you should try to keep the microphone about a fist away from your mouth and to get the best results. Uh, but yeah, like that's pretty much it. It's just these three filters. And then once you have that set, it's set for your microphone in all of your different scenes. 
Woo! All right, so that was it. So now your microphone should sound a whole lot better with those quick filters and those quick settings. If this was helpful, please give the video a like and think about subscribing to the channel. Post a comment down below if there's anything that you want me to show you in a future how-to video. I always like reading them and if it's something that comes up enough, I'll make a video out of it. Anyway, this is just a quick little video that I wanted to make. That's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna head out of here, but do me one last favor for yourself. Great day. Cheers, everybody.